Hey Hickok 45, look what we've got for you, an MP5 submachine gun, yes, select fire in all of its glory and splendor, 9mm, you should be relatively familiar with an MP5, it is a classic sub gun, if you watch movies, you should have seen this firearm before. Your uncle might not have one, your neighbor might not have one, but go rent Die Hard. You'll see one. Pretty cool, huh? We appreciate Silencer Co. coming by and bringing this little jewels. So we're going to take a few shots with it. Let's open up the stock. It's an MP5A3 because it has a collapsible stock. Put my ears on because it might make some noise. All right. What should we shoot? How about let's start with a two liter and a watermelon. And let's just go select fire. <laughs> right away. Put a few holes in the watermelon. Let's try the tree. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, it's empty already. That's the problem with the fun switch. The ammo depletes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Well, we have some more. There we go. We're ready to go again. Let's try that tree again. That was pretty neat. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Let's throw a burst at that uh, red two liter. See if I can hit it. Very nice. Pretty nice trigger. All right, what a show. <laughs> oh no, I think we depleted another magazine. Uh, one thing I noticed about it, because I know a lot of you will be buying these probably, uh, and you'll want to know, the trigger is really nice on it, and uh, even in full auto f format, you can get it on target and ease that trigger on and you know you can hit what you're trying to hit with three four round bursts you know pretty well that's why this is so popular and it's been a very uh, popular uh, sub gun for decades it was developed in the, the 60s you know by the germans and it is you know h and k they don't make any junk do they and uh this is a good example of that it just works it always has works it, it's been used i mean it's used in you know 40 or 50 countries around the world uh widely adopted for various agencies, and uh, it's just a reliable. Now we may have some trouble. We're we're shooting uh, a random uh, sampling of magazines, and and we're going to have to go to our my hand loads here at some point uh, because we didn't have as much uh, subsonic ammo, uh, nine millimeter ammo. But uh, but they just typically work. Whatever problem we have will not uh, be indicative of what the MP5 is known for because it'll be a magazine or, or ammo or some old case issue. But uh, they just, they're just they just a, a splendid gun, uh, perfect size, perfect caliber, and, 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 and they work. Let me show you just a little bit about it. Uh, take, take it down here for you. Well, let's pan out. First of all, let's make sure we're, you know, we're locked back. Okay, we're clear. And the pocket pin out, pull the back off, the bolt. Spring. I was supposed to pull that down first. There we go. There's your bolt. You notice you got that the rollers on the on the bolt. That's kind of a specific to uh, H and K. I think it's called a delayed roller blowback, and they just really work well. Very very reliable. Uh, anything H and K has just works well. You can take the uh, selector switch out, pull out the trigger group here. Not too much trouble. See, that's what you do, and you put it back together. Give it to the bad guy, and he thinks he's armed. But uh, it's pretty simple to, to take apart, uh, very reliable. Don't you love it when uh, a piece of machinery like this is designed well and just functions uh, the way it's supposed to and you don't have trouble with it. I don't think you even have to cock that, but I'm going to bring that down. All right, put the bolt back in. We'll probably need it because we're going to shoot some more. Okay, this back on. Back up. There you go. Like I say, I know most of you are probably buying these. And uh, 
it always helps to kind of know how to field strip it before you uh, before you get it. You know wherever you happen to find yours. Uh, collapsible stock. Yeah, pull that over. I had a H uh, and K ninety three. This reminds me of, and, and and they're all kind of based. This is based, I guess you could say, loosely in, in a lot of ways on the uh, what the G three, the civilian version, the H and K ninety one uh, ninety three. I had. Uh, the sights, the, the bolt, and everything, the way it operates, just that good old reliable uh, H&K design. So, what we're going to do now is uh, go to the next phase. Like I say, Silencer Co. was uh, on their way back to Utah, and we saw them driving by on the road up there and flagged them down. And uh, they happened to have a trunk load of uh, suppressors, a couple of cool guns. You see this one is the Octane 9 HD 9mm. And... Uh, this one uh, does a great job. We're going to put it on this firearm and it's got a, a very a simple mounting system. I like that. You see it's got a kind of a three point there. You just put it on and twist it a little bit and there it is. Okay, easy on, easy off. So, specially designed for me, somebody with a simple mind, right? Okay, we need more ammo, don't we? Let's see what we have. All right, we got and we got this 40 round magazine. I don't know how it's. We'll use it maybe. We'll see how it works. All right, we got a few more factory loads here. The blunt nose. And that's the last of the factory. All right. So pull the bolt back and load him up. Now, let's take my ears off. Okay, I should not need them. It should be a little little more quiet now. All right. Let's see if it is. I'm gonna take a couple of shots. Uh, in uh, semi-automatic. I know you hate that, but I just want to take a couple of aim shots over there. I can't see the sight as well as I'd like to because of my eye, but let's just go for the gong first. See if we can pop it. <laughs> nice. That is quiet, isn't it? <laughs> Until it hits the steel. Well, I'm throwing over Let me bring it down some. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I don't see the sight really clearly, but I was aiming too high. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing what can happen when you uh, use your sights properly. All right. Let's try a pig over there. If I hold low on him. <laughs> he didn't even hear it coming, did he? Cool. Cool. Let's try that turkey. <laughs> okay, we can't resist. The, you see the F there? You know what that stands for, don't you? Right, fun. Okay, the fun switch. Let's try this uh, watermelon again a little bit here. Ah, pretty cool, went right through the watermelon. <laughs> Let's try those two liters. <laughs> oh yeah, fun switch empties those magazines pretty quickly, unfortunately. This is cool. I've wanted to shoot an MP5 again. I shot one back in the, about 1990. That's a long dry spill, 1990. That's almost uh, 20 years, isn't it? 1990 since I've held one of these and fired it. And uh, it is really neat to be able to shoot one again. So let's try another. These are my hand loads. I didn't load them with MP5 in mind, but uh, they, we've tried them. They've been working okay so far. I think we had one hang up, but we think it's a, a magazine problem. Okay, let's take a couple of shots at... I know you're going to be mad at me if I don't try to hit the gong full auto, aren't you? So let's get, over, get that over with uh, without sending anything in the next county. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. And that watermelon right there. Woo! <laughs> oh, and those pots. <laughs> All righty. Old faithful. <laughs> cool. Cool. Oh, getting some blowback in my eye. You get a little more with the suppressor on. You know, get more stuff comes back into the firearm than uh, you do otherwise. That is fun. That is fun. Let's make sure that it was empty. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, nine millimeter MP5. 
Whew. Doesn't get a lot better, does it? Man, we have more ammo. Uh, let me uh, let me try. Let me try this big magazine. Okay. Uh, you know what, though? Before we do that, let's load one of these because we have a another target that's a little bit special. We had a little bit of a hang up with that magazine. I don't know uh, what it might have been, and I don't want it to happen right in the middle of it. So let's make sure we got some ammo. These are 147 grain bullets, and that's pretty much what makes them subsonic because they're heavy, you know, and they're not trucking along at you know 1,500 feet per second or anything. And uh, you know, subsonic is less than the speed of sound. Again, for you people in Kentucky, uh, and uh, that makes the suppressor, of course, work more efficiently. Makes it uh, more quiet. You don't hear the, the bullet cracking as much. Although you can shoot some really hot ammo, you know, through a suppressor, and it does reduce uh, the sound. You all know that. Okay. These are again, these are random cases. I don't sort my brass. I, I, not going to be carrying this ammo to war or anything for self-defense. This is just range stuff uh, that I load, and uh, uh, we'll see how it, how it works. Nobody's shooting back at me, so uh, we're not in jeopardy of being overtaken because I have a bad piece of brass here. I've got backup here if that does happen. Okay. Well, let's take a couple more shots with it. My... Uh, yeah, we have a drum here, a garbage can actually, and we're just going to shoot it, okay? For your education and enjoyment, I think I'll uh, put the stock in. After all, isn't that what they do in the movies? Yeah, so whatever they do in the movies must be the way to do it. All right, now, I think I can hit that without using sights. That's uh, four or five yards away. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh oh, wouldn't you know it? Malfunction. Clear. Try again before it leaks out. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, that's the way to do it in the movie. See, shoot from the hip. Shoot from the hip. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try this big magazine now. We've broken the ice with the malfunction. Again. You know, that's my, uh, my hand loads and oddball brass and all that kind of stuff. Now, this is a 40 rounder. Let's put this back out. Let's get more serious. All right. Uh, what can we do to be educational? How about, let me uh, just do a burst on the tombstone there. And I'll try to, try to kind of hold it on there a little bit, you know. Maybe I can get two or three on it. Yeah. Getting a uh, little stuff in my eye there from the blast. All right, let's try the cowboy. See, that's why this gun is so effective. And you've seen so many movies and you know of a lot of forces, whether it's SWAT or whoever it is, you know, bursting into a room with something like this and taking out bad guys because I don't have any training in that. But, you know, you come into a room and you're boom, 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 you put, you know, three, four, five on each bad guy very, very quickly, you know, just with a quick pull of the trigger. And it's just an extremely effective firearm. Let's try the uh, uh, propane tanks down here. Yeah. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I'm gonna go to the other uh, side here. Close that right eye. <laughs> Getting a lot of stuff back in my face. Okay, that is pretty neat. That's amazing. Now those were my hand loads again, and that was a questionable magazine, but uh, it seemed to to work pretty well. Now, I don't know if my face is all full of dirt or what it might be, but uh, it felt like you know you, you get a lot back, uh, you know, from uh, from it with a suppressor on it. It's just the way it is. Okay. That was getting a little bit in my eye. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's shoot a few more shots. All right. Now that magazine is not empty. Yes, it is. Okay. We have a little magazine here. Maybe I'll load one more. Hey, we don't get to do this very often. Let's load one more of the 30-round magazines and uh, see if we can empty it. 
because it doesn't take long, does it? It does not take long. Yeah, cool. Again, 147 grain, subsonic. And uh, if you really want to get the most out of a, a suppressor, that's, that's obviously what you're looking for, subsonic ammo, or, or load some subsonic ammo. But, uh, little metal jacket while we're firing here. This gun, if you noticed, uh, I guess there before we uh, I started gabbing at you, without the suppressor and with the stock collapsed, it's a very small piece of hardware, isn't it? Uh, you could really uh, stick it in a holster, and I, I'm, I'm sure that certain agents do that, not just in the movies. You know, the uh, Secret Service in the United States used to uh, carry... I think some of them carry full-size Uzis in a uh, special holster, uh, shoulder holster rig. And so this would be even easier to carry because it's not, it's not as heavy. And that's one of the advantages of this gun as, as I see it. And I guess a lot of people over the Uzi. The Uzi's a pretty cool gun, uh, but it's kind of heavy too. It really is. So you saw that's a very, very quiet uh, suppressor. Right now. And again, it comes off and on very easily. It's probably kind of warm. And... Uh, if I'm very smart, I probably will use something between my hand and it. Oh, it's really hot. I was going to maybe take a couple more shots without it. But we can manage that. I pulled in on it. There we go. There we go. Should melt my earphones. Okay. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's a very small subgun. I mean, look at that. I think my Model 29 Smith & Wesson must be about that length, almost, you know. And think of the power, the firepower, and the effectiveness of this thing. And that's why it's used in so many countries and has been used. Again, it's a little bit dated, maybe. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff out there, a lot of things at work. But uh, this thing is, uh, is pretty cool. So, let's do a little noisy shooting now. Now you've seen the difference. Bolts back. All right. All right. It's pretty warm. Pretty warm. All right, we're going to be noisy. Let us just play full auto. What if I get? I wonder if it'll shoot one-handed. Now it may limp wrist on me because it's hard to get a really good grip on it. But we'll try it. <laughs> that was pretty neat. <laughs> it gets into a rhythm. It feels really good. I'm going to do that again. Is that okay? Can I do that again? Thanks. I knew you wouldn't mind. All right. This magazine's not as uh, long, so it'll be a quick thrill. Have I forgotten anybody? I don't want to neglect any targets, you know, except this watermelon. Uh, let me go down here and get a good perspective on him. All right, here we go. Let's finish him off. Uh, one-handed so anyway that's a uh, little fun with the mp5 uh, again it's the a3 collapsible stock really really cool uh, little sub gun I'm glad uh, to get the opportunity to uh, to shoot it and again I appreciate the, the well actually I'm just glad uh, the good luck we happen to see silencer co driving by the road up here uh, fortunately they had the sign on the side of their car and I could tell who it was and so uh, it's been cool, you know, shooting their gun. So anyway, you know I don't even have to say it, do I? <laughs> Life is really good.
All right.